All right, guys, this is the head swap tutorial. And basically what I'm doing is I'm going to swap these two actors' heads. And we're going to start by selecting the guy's face and simply copying and pasting it uh, as a new layer. I copy it and I paste it. And just I simply move it over. And now what, what I'm going to do is crop out the image to get rid of the excess so that I can focus on just her face and his face. Now obviously his face is a little too small so I want to resize it. Now as I'm resizing I'm holding down the shift button so that I can maintain the proportions. Now to line it up drop the opacity down to about 50 percent. You'll notice that it's now uh, transparent zoom in a little bit and now we're just going to work on lining up the the eyes it's actually eerie how well they line up so now I'm going to show you just her face drop down to 0% and then bring it back up to 100% which will make his face appear I'm going to use a layer mask which allows me to hide parts of the image without actually deleting them it's a great tool. So now I'm going to want to bring a brush that I'm going to use. It's got to be 0% hardness, so it's a soft brush. And I want to make sure that it's black. And then I can start deleting the edges of this image. Now notice how I'm just brushing the edges. I'm not committing to any huge changes yet. It's actually starting to look kind of scary. You can do this at 50% opacity so that you can kind of see what's below or you can guess. It's kind of up to you, whatever you feel more comfortable with. The key here is to work from the outside in. If you make a mistake, it's easy. All you do is switch your paintbrush to white and then just Now here we have, we're going to do some color adjustments because his face is a little greener than hers. So we're going to make sure that it's CMYK color. We don't want to flatten it. You can just say okay here. CMYK is great because it gives you four different levels of color to adjust. Make sure that you select on the actual layer image and not on the mask. And now let's select curves. So these are the colors you can adjust. Cyan is kind of the greenish color. We want to grab that line and drop it down a little bit. As you drop it down, you'll notice that his face becomes a little more orange. We're taking out that green. Go back to curves. We're going to play around with the yellow a little bit. Drop down the yellow a little bit, and that's actually starting to look a lot more like her skin tone. I went back to the to the mask just to show you. If you make a mistake, select white and you can draw back and bring back some of that image. Once you've made color adjustments, you're probably going to need to make a few layer mask adjustments. The more you zoom in here, the better. And you can play around with it. You can use his eyebrows, her eyebrows. Um, just be creative. It all depends on the two images that you've selected. You can come up with some really funny effects. Just have fun with it. Try to be precise. Use a soft brush. And the more you zoom in, the more detail you can have. Okay. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit, and as you can see, their faces aren't really that different. Um, so they blend in really well, um, and it can pass off as realistic. The the different, uh, you know, the degree of difference in the faces will um, will really create some funny effects. So the more different they are, the the funnier it's going to be. 
and the harder it's going to be to make it look realistic. So you can keep changing around some some things. So for example, right now I'm playing around with the uh, color balance. I'm trying to really bring down certain colors. So like you can see here, I'm playing with the magenta and the cyan levels. Magenta is kind of a, a purpley pink. And then you can take out the yellows and the blues to really try to match up those colors. The more you can match up the colors, the better. All those audio adjustments can be found in uh, image adjustments and you can play around with things like color balance, hue and saturation, and brightness and contrast. Just play around with it, experiment, and uh, see what, what you can come up with.